<laughs> yeah, we're going mudlarking. There's a lot of gravel down there actually, a lot of bricks. Looks like that area there's been cut out since the last time we were here. So, down here at the uh, Thames Foreshore, folks, we are across from the Canary Wharf. See what we're gonna find. This should be interesting. Stick around. Hello, old friend. How have you been? Check it out. That's an old coal shovel. That's cool. I think the wall has sprung a leak. Okay, I have a piece of pipe bowl, which is very interesting. Check that out. That is cool. That's awesome. I got myself a vulcanite stopper. Oh, half a one. <laughs> it's a wartime one, too. Check this out. It's a uh, old mooring point. This is RBB 1861. That's amazing. And then you've got planking here, and pieces of wood, which I'm going to assume come from an old jetty or wharf of some type. This is the cool part. Those look like wooden pegs holding it together. That's amazing. As you can see, it's in the foreshore right here. So it could have been it was here originally. I mean, look at that piece of wood right there. That gets a little muddy. Yeah, check that out. That's, those are wooden pegs. That's amazing. This out. It probably came off uh, some sailors or dock workers boot. Very cool. Well, we must be in the place where shopping carts come to die because there's one, there's two, there's three. And over there by the wall is four. Interesting. So for me, no mudlark is complete unless I find some Staffordshire slipwear. Bingo. Check that out. My hunt is done. Or should I say it's made? Very happy. Very happy to have found that. Mm. 
Now the date range on this escapes me. So if anybody can tell me, please let me know. Got part of a pipe hole. I'm right up against the seawall, so to speak. But this just shouted out at me. Oh, this is pottery. Look at that. That is very interesting. Yeah, that's, that's pottery. Check that out. Very cool. That looks like it's got some age to it. Mrs. H, uh, what'd you find? Oh my goodness! I know. <laughs> did you go? Did you get? A, did it just get a little out of hand? I don't know. I found a lot of this. Oh, stuff. that's nice. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's right. that's older. That's cool. Yeah, that's a jug. That's part of a jug handle. Just uh and more stuff. Uh, we'll put the stuff up on the step and take a photograph, photograph and everything. There's a lot, of, a lot more pottery. Oh, check this out. Oh, wow. Oh, that's older. Look at that. I don't have those, uh, those, those uh, pictures that show the different areas of pottery and I don't have them with me on my phone but um yeah that's definitely a little older than a hundred years I believe okay I just found this part of a pipe bowl it's a lot older one than the early one that I found you just tell by the uh, slope of the bowl Again, you can see where the uh, hole protrudes in to the bowl from the uh, stem. No letters or anything on it, though. That's okay. Hopefully you can see here, but this is all pottery. All through here. It's like a um, sandstone colored pottery. See if I can crouch down without slipping on my butt. But yeah, it's all this stuff. I guess it was seconds. Maybe stuff that didn't make uh, the firing at a local uh, pottery house and this stuff, all this stuff here. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That's amazing. That's going to be, other than the Staffordshire slipway right now, that's my find of the day, pottery wise. Could be Victorian too, though. But I'll take it. Unless we find something. Uh, Absolutely earth shattering. Uh, Mrs. H and I will uh, bid you farewell. And uh, wherever you are in the world, happy hunting and uh, good luck. And above all else, be safe. Talk to you later, folks. See ya. Bye.